aujourd'hui. live in my tutorial for I Want to Hold Your Hand. This is my all-time favorite song by my all-time favorite rock group, The Beatles. And this is the song that got me started playing the guitar. So let's get started by working with the intro. There will be a chord tutorial later on in this video, so if you find that you're unfamiliar with some of the chords that I'm playing, you can skip to that part of the video and then come back to the lesson. All right, let's start with the intro. First, we're going to set up at second position, and we're going to put the second and third finger on what I call a C3, because we've got a C chord, kind of, but we're just going to strike the C and the E note, okay, as we go down. We're going to take the pick and go like that, strike it straight down, and then we're going to come up now that's a C3 because that's C and E, just part of a C chord. Okay, so that's how we're going to address it. C3, and then we're going to come up on the two middle strings, the D and the G string, just open like that. So down, C3, up on the D and the G string, open. And then we're going to come down on a D5, like this. Okay, did you get that? C3, D and a G string, and then D5. Okay, so this is what we've got. Now, we're playing this on one guitar, of course. And the Beatles have three guitars, and they're doing some mixing or doing some separate parts. Now, what we're going to try to do, or attempt to do, is to get this song to sound as much like that as we can with one guitar. So, I've kind of manipulated the parts so that we can make it sound bigger when one person is playing it. So, all right, so here we go. C3, D and a G string, upstroke, and then five strikes on the D5. We had one and then four, okay, so which makes five, so it's D5, just like that. Now we're going to do that twice. Here it goes. Now when you play that, I'm doing all down strokes now, but lots of times when I'm playing it, I'm going to do up and down strokes, so it would go like this. Like that, okay? So you can choose if you want to do down strokes. When you do the down strums, it sounds a little grittier because you hear that uh, lower string first all the time, so you can choose how you want to do that. Okay, now, let's get all the parts in that we need to do. And this is it's going to sound like this, cause, because this thing has got a weird timing, how it gets into the song. So it's going to go like this. Ready? Go. And then we're into the song. Okay. What we had to do was do the first couple of licks that had the five D5s in a row. Okay, here we go with those. Okay, that's the first. 
first two. Now we've got to do one that has C3, then we come up to the open G and D, and then the D5 twice, and then we do a D6. So we're going to take our third finger and go up to a B note on the G string at the fourth fret, and it goes like this. That's a D6, okay? So we, on the third one, we did just like that. So we went to the six. Now we're going to do a five, six thing. Okay, so what we're doing now, the first one we did, second one we did, third one. Third one was C3, open, and then D5 twice, then D6. Now we're going to come back to D5 three times, go back to D6, D5 three more times, D6 three more times, one time on the D6, and then a low E, and then our G5 chord. And that's how we get into the song. Okay, one more time. That was. And we're into a G5 there. Now, after the intro, we're going to be doing a bunch of fifths and sliding them around the guitar. Let's get to the verses. Now, we'll be starting the verses with a G5, and, I'm, and we're going to be moving these fifths around, so we're going to make them like this. First finger is going to be on the G note, at the third fret on the low E string, and then we're going to bring in these two fingers and do our fifths like this. So we're going to do one, five, and an octave on all our fifths for this particular song. So we can do this like that. And this is the strumming pattern. We're going to be going up and down with one eighth notes like this. But before we strum, we're going to strike on the downbeat like this. We're going to get used to doing that. Downbeat, down. Down. That gives us that nice Beatles strumming pattern, okay? So we're going to start with a G5, which is at the 3rd fret. Then go up to a D5, which is at the 5th fret, and I move down to the A string for that one. And we're going to just strike that one twice. We're going to go D5. So we can simulate that little rise, like that. Now the reason I use that one finger is so I can set myself up to go to my next chord, which is an E5. Okay, so here we go. Just like that. So we went to a D. D flat, D, E flat, and then E5. And then we're going to drop down to a B7 chord. And I thought that was so cool, that B7 right there. Now here's the whole thing, starting with the G5. Now it's very important how you strike these chords. You want to have that G5, but you don't want to strike these high strings. You want to aim for the low string so you get this. We don't want to play anything below the pinky, okay? We want to just stay up with these low strings, so get that nice rock sound in there, okay? So it goes G5, D5, up and down, and then D, D flat, D, E flat, E five, down, up, down. 
down, up, down, then drop down to your B7. Then open it up. Now open up that low E string and then back to the G5. So it goes like this. Okay, now that is the verses, all right? Now we need to work on the chorus. <laughs> 